Look at the size of these houses. This has got to be one of the nicest. Look at their trees, they're pretty. Yeah, nicest neighborhoods we've ever been in. I always say that and I feel like we always find neighborhoods that are nicer. Bruh. They have a fountain. That's crazy. What's this guy own? He owns the uh, griefs. Grief cutters. Grief cutters. Gutters. Gutter. Gut. Gut. I'm in the gutter. wrong business now. I want to start a gutter company. <laughs> Look at all your pots. No. <laughs> Need a rooster. Need a rooster. He's seventy five cents. He's got a broken head. Good morning, how are you? How are you doing? Doing good. Yeah, yes, it is. I feel like it's meant to be. So we actually got the backstory of this yard sale. There is so much cool stuff here. We end up purchasing a good bit and we're here for a very, very long time. So it's a really good video. But the backstory is actually the people that we're in the home with right now or in their garage, they actually uh, buy houses and flip them or whatever that they do with them. And they usually say that they when they do that people leave stuff behind and they just kind of throw it away and uh this time they said they walked in this house it was completely full of stuff this is the stuff it was full with they said they had another yard sale last weekend we were actually out of town at the 127 but um they said it was like super high-end stuff this is what's left over they're basically just trying to get it out of their garage at this point we end up buying a, a lot of stuff here and for really really cheap it's still here Only ten bucks for that thing. Man, I feel like that's worth it. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Oh. This thing. It's only a dollar. That'd be good for the church for its own um, Western. This is like really Western themed. Right? Yeah. It's metal. Metal. Oh, a little pickle. It's clean. It is cool. Right. These are some really cool ornaments. Uh, most of this stuff right here will be actually not for sale in our eBay store. It will be for sale on Whatnot. Uh, our next Whatnot is going to be August 31st at 7 p.m. The ornaments won't be for sale. Then we're going to do more of like a Halloween or October type style. But uh, when it gets closer to Christmas, a lot of ornaments will be for sale. Is it $3 for everything? A chicken metal. A chicken is metal. Oh, metal chicken. I'll put that down. This thing is nice. I know. I know. This was a big eye catcher on your uh, Facebook post. I know. I love that. It's super cool. I can't believe somebody hasn't bought it. Yeah. For ten bucks. It's like pretty heavy in metal. Yeah, it's all. yeah, that's pretty nice. I don't know what I would do with it. I don't drink wine. We could take that out and put a bird in it. Yeah. Like a parrot. Huh? Could you 
that? No, we don't need that. Yeah. All right. Is it you getting these? Right now, me and the owner are talking about our YouTube channel right there on the back screen. He actually had a TV in his uh, garage. He is now a subscriber to the channel, so thank you so much. They're really interested in how YouTube works and like what we do and everything, so we're just in here talking about that. But the thing in my hand is some sort of slushy ice thing and you like it freezes turns out they sell very very well pre-owned they don't the only one has sold but if you get them new they sell pretty good we pick them both up for i think uh two dollars i mean i'm not 100 percent what this is I have no idea. honestly I i'm gonna tell me. but i feel like for four bucks i can't go wrong yeah 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 you can't <laughs> really go like wrong worth more than four dollars that's yeah. that's exactly what i'm looking at i'm like i think it's probably worth like 15 to 20. yeah, there yeah. You go. So for four bucks, I feel like that's it. It's got to be some sort of um, hole puncher binder. I think like remember like the old school binders. Okay, yeah. I've been wondering. Yeah, I. I think that's it. I wouldn't hold it to me, but I'm pretty sure that that I think. But for four bucks. Yeah, I know. This. Yeah. It's actually um. Well, it's hand blown. See that bubble right there? Is this a dollar a piece or a dollar a dollar stack? stack? What? Okay, I'll buy those for a dollar a stack. That's good. All right, I think we keep looking around. We're going to buy your whole yard sale. <laughs> oh, jeez. Break, you break it, you buy it. It's only $2. I know. I mean, I feel like you can't leave it behind for two bucks. Do they go in our house? You know who would like that? My dad. Any <laughs> <laughs> sensies? No. Uh-uh. No. No. I like to been here on day one. Yeah. Do you want that? Yeah, that's actually like... These are actually like super nice. People use these for like weddings and stuff. Yeah, I like, know. Could. Stuff or on. Oh, uh, you know, yeah. Do you want it? It's only two bucks. I don't know. All right, let's see what we're up to. Flip it upside down. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Flip it for profit. Yeah. Like, what like, is it? Put flowers in it. Yeah. Like, it fall. I thought that was cute. Here, you know. Yeah. Does it have a big? How you have what are these guys? Oh. Hey, what are these guys? Oh, yeah. These are winners, too. 27. 27. 31. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then she's got those. The right table there. and the, I think. 52. 52. All right. Nice. That ain't bad. Back from the yard sale. Not a lot of stuff actually to resell. Some of that stuff we were keeping for the house. So it was $52 for everything. But really, I think we only spent about $30 on the stuff we were going to go ahead and resell. So let's go all over it really, really quick. You already heard about the little slushy cups. You like freeze them, you shake some stuff, and they turn into slushies. They actually sell fairly well uh, new. Pre-owned, only one have sold. So I think they're only worth about 10 bucks. This basket right here, I have no idea. Um, it was only a dollar, and I'm probably, probably get about eight to nine bucks for it. Then these are some really cool ornaments. We just really like ornaments. It's almost, you know, I almost said it's almost Christmas time, but before you know it, blink of an eye, uh, December will be here. And these are really cool. They'll be on our whatnot show. These two things back here, this thing would be super hard to ship. Look how like, you know, delicate this thing is. But I looked it up, it's really weird. Some of these can go for a ton of money. Some people are calling them oil decanters or wine decanters or something. Like one from Spain went for like 50 bucks, but then you can buy them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So I really don't know the difference there in that one and the $50 one. This thing back here is the same thing. Some of them go for a super amount of money. Some of them only go for like 10 to 20 bucks. And it's the same thing. People are saying that this is a wine decanter. It does have bubbles in it. It looks like it was hand blown. 
and it has that nice little blue tint at the very top so it's really cool looking but i just don't really know i think it's probably worth about 10 to 15 dollars the two angels back here are tree toppers and it looks like they go for about 10 to 15 bucks this thing right here actually has never sold on ebay and they're listed super high they're listed in pre-owned condition or open box condition for 90 dollars so i might just go ahead i'm not 100 percent sure even how it works because this was on top of there this is supposed to close somehow it's a french press i just it's called a dripper i think but the french press is on this side so i really don't know how to get coffee out of this thing i don't even know where to put the coffee so i'll have to do some research on this and see exactly but uh if you get it new it's expensive like if you were to buy this at the store it's like 100 bucks but on ebay it doesn't look like the resale is real, really there dad's a huge coffee fan maybe i'll gift it to him and see if he can figure out how to get coffee out of this thing these right here are really cool they're like natural stone coasters and they go for a pretty good amount of money there's some hexagon ones that went for i think uh 13 for eight of them and we have uh 16 of them so probably about 20 bucks plus shipping on those this guy right here is just I mean, super cool looking. Too bad he has a broke little leg on him, or just chipped leg. It's not actually broken, but I don't know, 75 cents? I don't know why I bought him. The chicken I know why I bought, because it actually does sell for about 30 bucks, 20 to $30. It's just a good looking metal chicken. Another one right here, sad, I didn't notice it, but if you can tell right there, it is actually cracked or broke on the starfish, so this one's gonna be probably no good. Pretty sure Kayla is keeping this maybe for outside use. And uh, we actually saw this in their Facebook post and we we're like, man, I hope it's still there when we get there. And it was a nice little ice bucket here from Tommy Bahama wrapped in leather, probably worth about 10 bucks. And then this is a binder, the Fellows Binder uh, Starlet 90. And this goes brand new, it's very expensive, but uh, used, it still goes for about 20 to 30 bucks. So we did pretty good at that one yard sale. Time to thank some people that sent us some stickers. Real quick, banning, you might be the the youngest reseller that I know at this point. You said you're nine years old and uh, you like watching the channel and you've been reselling, which is awesome. You can found a uh, World War II bayonet that you, goes for over $200. Excellent find. Keep on hustling out there, bud. And then also we have uh, this one right here. This is the Thrifting Hummingbird. Thank you so much. A sticker is heading your way. Also banning a sticker is heading your way. And also Jen Thrift. Thank you, Jen, Marcus, and your son, CJ. We do appreciate it. So not a bad day at the yard sales. I would have loved to have been there on day one. These are the ones where like, you know, you go out of town and then you come back and they're having like a blowout there and you're like, man, what was here on day one? And this is the stuff that's stuffed. We thought we got some really good finds. We do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment below, like the video, and you know I will always do on the next one.